Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Wallfrog, and I talk all things hockey. This video, I'm going to be previewing the Pittsburgh Penguins 2021 NHL season. Go check out my other videos. I made about six or seven of them, so you do not want to miss out on those. While you're there, you can go subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1K, and you can join the Wild family. Let's do this together, boys. But okay, guys. Obviously, I am a massive Penguins fan. Been a Penguins fan for my entire life, so I know every single thing about the Penguins. So, uh, my brother is on the Penguins, so it means you gotta drop a like. Let's do this. Um, I actually know a lot of things about the Penguins, but we're gonna go through this as fast as I can and not make you sit here too long. But the Pittsburgh Penguins, they have 1.3 million in cap space. It's not the greatest because they don't have that much leverage on some trades and they really can't sign anyone else in free agency. But we all know Jim Rutherford loves to trade people. So who knows what happens. Sidney Crosby could get traded tomorrow and we could never know. The draft picks we have are only second, fifth, and three sevenths. Nice. So I'm gonna get a good prospect in the seventh round. Uh, but yeah, obviously we know we're not supposed to get a lot of draft picks because it's Jim Rutherford. So let's see what the forwards are looking like on the Penguins. Obviously, we got Evgeny, aka Gino Malkin. Um, this guy's insane. 9.5 mil for two more years. He's a great player. Um, I don't know if he's gonna retire after those two years. I hope not. But we will see. Um, obviously, it's a huge cap hit, but he's worth every penny of it. So hopefully, he can come back next season and do very good on that second line. And we'll see how it goes. Obviously, Sid the Kid Crosby, uh, 8.7 for four uh, for five more years. Very good player. Obviously, best player in history of hockey. You cannot prove me wrong. Um, obviously, still elite, elite, elite. Uh, hopefully, he stays healthy and does not get hurt at all. But other than that, obviously, Sid the Kid. He's insane, and he's gonna be great until he retires. I hope he doesn't retire though. Hopefully, he plays to the 60. Uh, Jake Getzel, six mil for four years. This guy is so good. Hopefully, he can stay healthy, like I said. Uh, hopefully, his shoulders all healed and didn't get hurt again in the playoffs last season. But he's a good player. He's gonna be playing with Sidney Crosby once again. Hopefully, their right winger on that line can pop off and help them do good. Uh, Jason Zucker, aka my brother. Uh, 5.5 for three more years. He's a good player. Um, hopefully him and Mulkin can get it going on the second line because that's that'd be huge. If they start getting some chemistry and playing with each other better, they're going to be absolutely nasty. And Penguins are going to be elite once again. Brandon Tanov, everyone was, oh my God, his contract is so much for a fourth liner. This, I bet you're not saying that now, bro. This guy is so good. Um, he just works his ass off every single shift, every single game, every single day of his life in the NHL. He works hard. And I, I do not care about the contract. This guy is insane. Brian Rust, 3.5 for two more, two more years. He's very good. Um, I hope he doesn't get traded. I heard rumors he might have, but I don't know. I like him. He can score. Um, he might not be the fastest. Might not be the best passer, but he can put the puck in the net. And I feel like if he plays on the on the second line with Jason and Gino, they'll do very good. Speaking of top six, Kasperi Kapanen. Obviously, he got traded from. Maple Leafs to the Penguins 3.2 for two more years he's young 24 years old very fast um, he, he has a scoring touch at times sometimes he can't put the puck in the net but hopefully as a Penguin playing with Sidney Crosby and Getzel he can put the puck in the net because that's what he needs that's what he needs to do if he cannot do that the Penguins are actually very screwed Jared McCann um, he needs to be better he was 2.9 mil for two more years he's a good defenseman he's a good offenseman He's a good center. He's a good third line center. Um, last year he was not the greatest third line center, but he needs to be better this year. If he's better this year and plays at a good slash elite level, Penguins are going to win the Stanley Cup. Sam Lafferty, this guy is so underrated. Um, hopefully he gets some playing. Hopefully he gets some ice time this season. Hopefully he doesn't get scratched that much because this guy deserves. He was honestly probably the best Penguin from the return to play from last season. Mark Jankowski. Just a decent free agent signing. I don't know how, what he's going to do. I know he's supposed to be the third line right winger. Don't know much about him, but I'm expecting good things. But obviously, he's he's okay. So that's the fours here, boys. Um, they're looking good. Um, if the depth can play good and the top six can do their thing, the Penguins are going to win the Santa Cup. On to defense here. Chris Letang, 7.2 for two more years. Um, this guy, I don't care what you do over the summer. You need to focus on not turning the puck over. Cause I know, 
I have a love-hate relationship with you. You're so good at times. So that's it's very irritating, but hopefully he can get better from last season and do his thing. Michael Matheson, I know most Penguins fans are like, oh my god, what is that great? I agree with you at times, but yes, he's a good depth defenseman. So it'll be good for the Penguins to not have Jack Johnson on the ice. So it's a good. Ryan Dumoulin, 4.1 for three more years. Very good, underrated D-man. He's not gonna be putting up that many points, but he's a good lockdown D-man, especially with the tank turning the puck over every day. So that's that, very good D-man. Marcus Pedersen, very good, young defenseman, four male for five more years. He's a good D-man, um, good puck moving. He can skate, he can play defense, obviously. Um, good D-man, any team would want him. Cody Cece's kind of like a Jack Johnson 2.0, but hopefully he's not as bad. John Marino, I love this man, bro. This guy is so good, he came up out of nowhere. I haven't even heard of him. You know, the first day I saw him play, just blew my mind. This guy's unreal. He's gonna be elite in the NHL. He was in the run for the call there, in my opinion, but really no one knew who he was. But I feel like people knew who, if people know his name, trust me, they're gonna know how good he is. Uh, onto the goalies here. This is a question mark here for the Penguins. Obviously, we are all hoping the best with Matt Murray gone. Thank you. Uh, Tristan Jari, 25, 3.5 mil for three more years. Yes, he did good last season, but yeah, he, he was up and down. <laughs> He was up and down. Um, hopefully, he just stays consistent and plays at like an all-star level like he did last year. If he does that, Penguins are gonna go far. I'm telling you. But Casey DeSmith is gonna do. Yes, he was good before when he played in the NHL. That was a couple years ago, and his HL numbers has not been the best. So hopefully, DeSmith can win some games for the Penguins when we need it the most. But obviously, I'm a huge Penguins fan, so I'm obviously might be thinking too much about the future. But I'm gonna say Penguins are going to be top three in the Metropolitan Division next year. And the Washington Capitals are gonna fall down into a wild card or not even make it. That's my guess. Obviously, it's a little bold, but hey, it is what it is. We're the Penguins, bro. We're the Penguins. We never lose. But yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy it all, you could drop a like. You can subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to Un K. You can join the Wild family. It'd be very appreciated. Penguins fan, let's do this. Let's do this, boys. Let's do this. I'll see you guys in the next video.